If you were driving past Palm Beach International Airport this morning, it may have looked like something out of a movie. Rescue crews from a pulse across Palm Beach County descended upon PBIA for the ultimate test, preparing for the worst. The now's Alana Quillen joining us here in studio to explain. Alana? Well, Shannon, today Palm Beach County Fire Rescue simulated a Boeing 737 crashing after a bird strike at PBIA. The FAA requires airports to conduct these types of emergency drills every three years. The fire department wants to make sure their men and women are prepared when disaster strikes. In this drill, a plane crashes at Palm Beach International. <laughs> Nearly 200 victims are scattered, injured, others trapped in the fuselage. <laughs> It's vital training preparing Palm Beach County rescue crews for the unimaginable. Fire department can't do it alone. The airport can't do it alone. It's really a group effort. While some firefighters attacked the flames, others tended to victims, which were actors from G Star Academy. Of course, they have to tend to the more severe victims first. Stand up and follow me. Firefighters practice triage by color coordinating each victim using ribbons. Green, yellow, red, and black are deceased. They know exactly who to prioritize. Who are the more most critical patients to get them off scene the fastest. Victims wore stage makeup and were asked to make it as real and as difficult as possible for crews. I have an open wound on my stomach and they're taking forever to help me so I'm just gonna go jump on one of them and see if they help me and that worked. Some like Haley Pritchard put paramedics to the test. Live it in a way so that they're prepared for stuff like that when it actually happens. They need to know what they're getting themselves into. God forbid one of these like tragic situations happen. The Red Cross also trained on family assistance, which was used in the real world during the Fort Lauderdale airport shooting. We sent several vehicles and supported more than 3,000 people in shelters that evening. We prepare and train for the worst and hope we never have to put that training into action. Fire department and airport officials will spend the next few weeks going over video and data from today's exercise to see where improvements need to be made and then they'll send that final report to the FAA. For the Now South Florida, I'm Alana Quillen.